Remember, the number one rule is to pay yourself first. Every bill that you have requires you to make payments on them on a monthly basis or whatever, but you can't forget to pay yourself first. And I'm only saying that from a saver's perspective. I, um, I've um i always been a saver since a child. And saving is more about building muscle mass or building a habit because some people will say if they have more money, they'll be able to save more, which is untrue. You're actually going to start spending more if you're not naturally a save or you're not in the habit of saving some of everything that you get. I go back to childhood where my mother would give me a hundred dollars, for example. Remember those days you could go school shopping with that. Um, she'll give me a hundred dollars and be like, here, go get you something for school or whatever. I'll take the hundred dollars instead of going to buy the latest sneaker. I'll go to Models and buy a pair of $29 sneakers off the rack, get a, a fitted baseball cap when you just, those was $20 back then. Um, I'm all in $50. I'll come home, stash the other $50. Um, she think I done spent the $100 and I'm spending for, you know, I done saved the rest of the money. And I've always been that way ever since a child. I don't care if I have $5. I'll take a, a, a quarter and put it into uh, my savings account and a quarter to go into my trading account and a quarter to go into my investment account and a quarter to go into my emergency account. Um, it's the same thing. If I get $500, $25 is going into my savings account. $25 is going into my investment account. $25 going into my trading account. $25 going to my emergency account. And I've always been that way. It's just how you build muscle or, or build habit. You have to, you're not going to uh, uh, if you receive a large sum of money, that's not going to make you start saving money. You're going to just spend it all. So you just have to get in the habit of saving a little bit of everything you get. And if you got a hundred dollars and you putting away five dollars, you don't even see that five dollars, you know, but you have to put it somewhere where you can't touch it. It's a non-negotiable. You can't have five dollars in, in an account where you have a debit card to it. Maybe you need to open up a separate savings account or a separate passbook account or something automatic that goes like, you know, like like American Express savings account that you could just transfer the small amount directly or something like that. Um, it can't be something that you have access to. I was telling my cousin um, who said she was having a little problem with the savings situation, buy a money order every week. You know, everybody brings home a, a paycheck. If you took $5 every week and bought a $5 money order, in a year, you have over two hundred and fifty dollars. Five dollars, as I said, you won't even miss. And two hundred and fifty dollars doesn't sound like a lot, but it helps you build build uh, muscle. It helps you build habit. Now, when you see that two hundred and fifty dollars at the end of the year, you're like, "Wow, okay." You're gonna become compelled to actually want to start saving. You say, "Okay, I did five dollars last year. Let me try ten dollars, or let me try twenty dollars, or whatever." And you have a whole year to um cash in money orders before they expire. So by the time you finish out the year, you could just deposit that $250, $260 into a passbook savings account or into a savings account that you don't have a debit card to and repeat the process.